All right, bikers, bike enthusiasts. What I have here is my 1972 AMF three-speed 24-inch tricycle. You can see it's all there. I lost the cable ends though, so I'm gonna have to find those. But what I plan on doing is taking this apart Taking the main frame off of it because it's 24 incher and uh, made a 26 inch Schwinn frame up to it that I came across. And uh, because the step through frame just isn't for me, I, I, I've, I've never liked it, but I went ahead and kept on to it and so forth. Um, Get me some uh, 144 spokes, wheels. And clean it up and repaint it uh, blue of some shade. I think I know what I'm gonna do with the paint, but uh, and take that Schwinn frame and sweat, stretch it out maybe a little bit too to give it a longer look. Right now it's about six feet long. By the time I'm done with it, it'll be probably somewhere around the end of about eight feet long. Keep the 26 inch wheels in the front. Maybe the 24s in the back. Um, I think the 20s would be too small. Lose the Continental kit. Put a cruiser seat on it, lose the banana seat. Um, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna go with. So we'll see. Updates coming up. And this is the Schwinn frame that I'm going to put on it. That I'm going to make up to the AMF trike. And this bike's about six years old. I love the wheels on this, but they have come across some rust. And we'll need a lot of refinishing. I don't know if I should sand them down and powder coat them or what. But it's a pretty solid little bike. And that's what I'm going to make up to the tricycle frame. Sounds like the Cimarron Valley Express is blowing through town. I'm walking five miles an hour. I don't know much about stretching a bicycle frame, but we'll see how this goes. If not, I've got old Rusty over here that I can use too. Don't want to because he's a 55 Black Phantom by Schwinn. All original, with the exception of the bell. I'm missing the headlight cover, and then my uh, my tank. But I don't want to cut this one up. It's like cutting up a 57 Chevy. Yeah. Here's the 24 inch Huffy, or Huffy, AMF frame. My trike, obviously. And this is what I'm going to mate it up to. My 26 inch twin. And I don't know if it's going to work or not. The only way I'm going to find out is if I take them take it all apart and knock the two of them together and I'll, I'll go from there as far as what else I need to do. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I've always wanted to and I've been thinking about it and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking to the point where I'm pretty obsessed about it. So this will be one bike. And I'm really, I am really excited about this. So more updates and information will be coming up and I will show you my progress as I go along. So thanks, comment, like and subscribe if you'd like. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this or how long it's going to take, but I will try to keep everybody posted on this, okay? So you guys have a wonderful night. Bye. All right, my bike enthusiastic peeps. That's not me.
I don't drink. But anyway, as you can see here, I've got my AMF trike torn apart. Um, the biggest reason I don't want to use this, like I said, was the, the lack of this cross beam here. I, I never did like the the step through like that you know i mean understandably so it's kind of hard to kick your leg over this monster here but i'm six foot one and i think i can so i've got it all apart i've kept the hardware i managed to break the chain uh, a link or two off of the chain here see kind of in a bad spot i forgot what this little doodad here was and um so, but that's all right. I was planning on going with a new chain anyway. This is all still in good working order. Uh, coaster brakes and everything. So I, I've, I've got it all here. Um, ripped off the little continental seat, uh, continental kit and the banana seat. Um, so next I'm going to start ripping on this. Mainly taking the back end of this thing off and see if I can what I need to take off of this frame I'm thinking I'm gonna need this piece and this piece and then weld it to the back of this So I can take off the fender and the bike uh, the uh, the book rack or that stupid little rack uh, and and get that back end off of there um, I think I'm still going to keep working on this because it's still daylight out there. And Jesse here is getting a little tired of playing fetch. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Okay. I babied this bike for as long as I could. I mean, it, it didn't go outside. I didn't store it outside. I stored it in my shed or in my garage. This is my sprocket, and it's jacked up. This bike is not even 10 years old, okay? And, 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 and chains, I understand, they're going to rust and whatnot. But like I said, this bike is not 10 years old. This bike is maybe, what are we at? iPhone 7, 8, bike is maybe 5, 6 years old. Okay, now look at my sprocket on this bike, which was stored next to my Schwinn. Look at the sprocket on this thing. Aluminum foil and coke, and this thing is going to be like a damn mirror. So I'm probably going to steal the sprocket out of that old boy, clean it up really good, and, 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 and stick it in this, if it fits. I hope it fits. You know, Schwinn's. I don't know. We'll see. I, I hope I hope it fits. I really, really do because it doesn't look like this is going to come apart. But it looks way better than that. Unless, of course, I find a sprocket somewhere along the lines that I like better. What a bummer. They don't make them like they used to, huh? <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. Trike builders. Anyway, trike builders, why do some folks leave the kickstand on their trikes? I'm taking this out. I don't need it. Um, but I just, just wondering. Okay. You can see we've got it all jerked apart, which only took about 10 minutes. But this bike is metric. So, which makes me wonder if I can use that crank on my old AMF and put it on here. I don't know. So, yeah, that's, yeah, golly, makes me wonder if I'm going to be able to use that or now. Metric bike. Well, so far all the bolts I've taken off have been metric. Oh, well. Okay, um, I don't know how long I've been tearing on these bikes, but this is what I've got. I've got my 2000 Schwinn Del Mar from Walmart, my birthday present. 
packed up and then mounted to my 72 AMF rear end trike piece. And it's just mocked up right now, but I do like that I'm able to keep this. That sprocket still kind of upsets me. Hey, Jesse. But all in all, it doesn't look bad. It really, really doesn't. Now, I'm gonna have to take the bracket off of the old bike and mount that onto there so that I can bolt this up right. And then there's another bracket that goes here on the bottom. So there are two pieces that I'll have to cut off of the old bike that I'll have to butcher. To make this work and bolt up fine. I got a buddy of mine that might be able to cut those off for me. But that's what I got. And my miniature English Bull Terrier watching somebody across the street. Anyway, oh, there's the tripod. We call her tripod because she's missing a leg. That's Remy, short for Remington. So those are my girls. Oh, my son's girl and my girl. Mine's the black dog with the big white spot. What do you think? Bye. Okay, is it just me or does it seem like it's like higher on the front end? Then on the back end. I mean, that's got we we got a 26 incher here, and then over here these are 24s. Um, maybe a maybe a, a a low rider front fork would even that out a little bit. I don't I don't know. Maybe if I just go with 26s. Excuse you, Jesse. 26 inch wheels in the back. I don't know. I don't know.